Probably not. More I, likely now. Yeah, I... I oh, high loss, though. High, high loss, loss is, is a possibility. Although it's been highly ignored. People don't like high loss. They would rather go... Hold Next up! It it's the return of hold the king, ladies up. and gentlemen. Okay. Again, these are heroes I only see picked in the Indonesia region for some reason. Uh, and I've I, seen this band out yesterday as well. I don't so, I think I think they're trying to shut down the, the Cho here and the Hayabusa. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a great one. It's a great yeah. way to shut it down. Yeah, ring, ring, ring. The king is calling, ladies and gentlemen. Aura Fire Indonesia does not fail to impress. Rockheart, first up, they showed us the Tigreo. Now they're showing us the Mincetar. I cannot remember the last time we saw Mincetar in professional play. It's It's been a while, man. For me, it's like four seasons back. Yeah, something like that. But again, seeing it being picked up here in the big stage, it just gives me a lot of hope that it's going to do better. Yeah. Because these are... If you know this Aura Fire, Indonesia just keeps picking it on the clutch. Yo, is Aura Fire like the blacklist of their of their of their region? Oh, Could be. oh yeah, right? that's a good point. That's like good they're point. not afraid to, to 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 show us new things. And ladies and gentlemen, speaking of new things, whatever the conclusion of this matchup is, is going to be for sure a slobber knocker. We're going the three games. This is the distance, and of course, Onik versus Onik, Aura versus Aura. Neither franchise is going to let go. Neither franchise is going to take it easy. Here we go. Big rotation already and greed. Just like in game one on the Hilda. Looking better already, I think. Yep, and obviously they're going to have a lot of early game power here with this Hilda again. Um, and they will get a lot of info. This is great information coming in from Aura PH. But now it's going to be a lot of people. It's a bit risky for greed at this point. Yep. But I think he's fine. Look, he has a shield. He's weaving in and out of the bushes. He's trying to go for it. Oh, I think what he was trying to do was add some HP to the purple buff. Yeah. So uh, that yeah. it would be off timing for High, but High gets it nonetheless. Took a little longer, but at least uh, they, they, they put the time in the reps. And now look, JP. Yeah, they want to keep in. going here. And they're waiting for High to go for the uh, for the purple orange buff. Ooh, flame shot already committed by JP. In goes high. He wants to take down Greed, but he survives. Kilowash cutting the lane here. That means they get a few hits on the outer turret energy shield. Yeah, that's few. Those few hits could actually mean a lot, especially getting a lot of these, uh, a lot of the gold that they've lost. Because you know, Aura Indonesia, they had, they were forced to go on the defensive for quite a while, mm -hmm. and they have to keep up with that. But I think the story is down bottom. Check it out, Kabuki oh. taking quite a few hits. Shadow, Shadow kill, kill committed kill. already, and first blood drawn out by Benny Cutie. Absolutely beautiful top lane will be answered though. Really quick one, and Kabuki answered with greed. Kilowash hiding, just timing it out. Let's see, can he catch someone? I think he still has his way of the dragon online. But who would he hit? Higher Kiera, <laughs> both are bad targets. Flip a coin, flip a coin. Let's see who he hits. Yeah. Oh, look. Aura ID building up the advantage. And that's quite and a few gold. No and one. <laughs> uh -huh. The coin landed halfway. Halfway. And Greed <laughs> cannot stop High from taking that crab coin. And now in mid, it's JP left alone. Where is Hades? There he is down bottom. I think what Hades is doing is he's just farming that Thames. He's farming yeah. up Kabuki. Because again, it's the easiest pickup. <laughs> it it kind of it, it's right. It's weird to say that because it is a fans. It's not an easy it's, fight. It's a lesser evil. It's a lesser evil at this point. You're exactly correct. So now we're gonna see Aura Indonesia on the defensive still, with you know with Kabuki trying to make up some of that lost gold. He spent a lot of time going back to base. So let's see. Oh, look it up top. It's going to be Kiera off camera, taken out by Greed and Kilowash. The full combo, Kilowash already at less than half health, took quite a beating from that dragon. But instead, they rotate back out. Benny Cutie versus Kabuki. Falling Star Moon by Benny Cutie. Ooh, look at this, an early duel and the Esmeralda's winning. Yeah, and this is more like it. This is more like the aura, the PH that we know and love. And we will see that Hades, great retribution straight onto the turtle. I got the turtle buff. I'm gonna go shadow kill, but too many targets means the damage was diluted. 
around Indonesian squad. That was problematic. They forced the fight within the King's Calling, which is exactly what Godiva wants. But at least Venicuti gets a revenge kill, Falling Star Moon right into Van Strong's face. That is some redemption. That is the silver lining. But nonetheless, RID won that team fight. That was a big exchange. Great exchange here for our Indonesia. They're really go doing a good job of being on the defensive here. Ooh, Greed back onto Annoying Duty. Now Tempest of Blades committed here by High, and this might be it. King's Calling once more. That's onto a lot Greed. of ultimate. He's looking for a push, <laughs> and he finds it. And Rockheart, I think Greed won that out. Tempest of Blades plus the King's Calling, and he makes it out alive. He got away with it, too. He, that's, uh, that's a lot of effort being done against just one guy. And he even gets away with it, which is just a huge bonus. Meaning that RPH got a lot of free farming time because of that. Mm -hmm. Let's see now where the first turret take might be. Kabuki fixing up and cleaning a house. Previously, what once was, maybe for the past couple of minutes, a dead lane. Now rotating, switching up with Kiera. And there you go. We'll uh, take a quick pause, ladies and gentlemen, as Kilowash dives into this Yu Zhong. He goes down. And Kiera's down. And yeah, so what's the answer? Immediately, a, a conversion. Oh, wow. That's a reactive rotation. I think Godiva knows they should not yeah, even they're try. Tr they're just getting in position. Oh, wait. Here we go. They're waiting for the call. Yep. They're trying to go in. Yep. All right. That's what? Three members here? They back out. Obviously, cannot force the issue. And look at this. Greed. Oh, annoying high once more. High with the retribution taking the purple buff. And at least, again, they move along. Rockheart, this is exactly how you should play, right? Whenever exactly. you're against the lane, you choke out the purple. If not stealing it away from him, make it difficult. Yeah, and absolutely what you have to do here is, again, capitalize on greed. Right? Capitalize on the shields while you can. Mid lane, though. JP. He Ooh, overturn. Doesn't kill that strong. The Kung Fu boy almost takes down Godiva and he gets away. Oh, oh but no. from downtown! That's the flame shot by JP. He says, you think you'll get away, but I got you, fam. That's one down. High trying his best to defend. Looking for the Tempest of Blades. He gets it and here comes Kiara with the support. Turret already down. That's less damage. Shadow kill onto High. Oh, they don't get to finish the job. They back out. It's still a win nonetheless. Or a PH. Two turrets to none. Six to four. Back in the driver's seat. And that's a lot of kills coming in for Aura PH in the six and a half minute mark. And Hi, he is uh, he's basically playing hide and seek over and over again. He's trying to see if he can get some uh, get some advantages, but right now, even on two one two, he doesn't feel really confident on this uh, on the sling. Yep, that's a significant one, and again a difficult two because that should have been what three or four by now, given that. Twice already in this matchup, if I uh, counted correctly, he tried to commit skills onto Greed, and Greed got away. Yeah, Kabuki's still really trying to lick his wounds here and trying to see if he can get back on the horse. But again, the rest of Aura PH is making that so difficult. Yeah. And now with the Demon Hunter sword completed, maybe that's what High needs. I don't know, to man. Actually, eat through. The story of Kabuki seems to be just to run away now. Kilowash with the full combo with the help of Hades. Beautiful. He commits it. That was just a duo. That's classic. That's how you want to do it with, with a Hayabusa on your lineup. One wrong move, one wrong misposition could cost you. Yep, and here's another big team fight inside the purple buff pit. High looking low. He does have an orange, no purple though. And they're threatening the kill onto the Ling. They back out. King's calling already committed. That's going to be the Luo Yi down. Van Strong taken out so soon. The Tams on Kabuki dealing quite a bit of damage. He is alive, and that's going to be a trade. Down they catch Greed. Greed. Kiera is back, ladies and gentlemen. He is in black dragon form. Now half dragon. He wants to take down JP. JP able to run through that wall. And Kiera going to be bitten down by Benny Cutie. And there's the falling star moon. He gets it off camera with style. Hades is going to be taking this turtle solo. And there's a huge minion wave down bottom. I believe that's where he's going to go next. Wow. Even with trades going left and right, Rockheart, Aura Philippines still able to come back to form. And there's a lot of hesitation coming in from Aura Indonesia, which is the reason why these are happening. Stuff like this should probably not happen, especially around the tower area, and you have a Minsinfar. But somehow Aura Philippines just finds a way to play around it, and they're always finding Hai in very awkward position. I mean, Hai doesn't die, but he's also not doing his job 
either on this lane. Yep. Here we go. Now Greed, once again, doing his job. I think Aura PH have found their groove again. They, they uh, figured out exactly what went wrong in game number two. And they're listening to their shot caller. They're following through with Greed. And again, Greed is on a hero now that allows for certain allowances. It's leeway for these little moments where in the members of Aura could not follow. Yeah, and it's really great tempo that they can keep up because Greed is just such a monster on this Hilda right now. He has full vision of Aura Indonesia. He also has just... He just fret, he's just a big fret. Yep, oh! Here you go. Hi, looking low. He survived just barely. Kabuki, King's Calling already here with the rotations being laid in. Hades destroyed by Kiera. A push down bottom. Oh, what is this? What is this? Kilowash? Kilowash. Working the turret. split. Oh, it's not worth it. He's going to be flashing out and going down. There's oh, the combo. the counter kill. Hi, destroyed. And that's wow. going to be Kilowash surviving as well with just one HP left. Greed with the backup. Oh, oh man! That's the Kilowash classic. The Kilowash classic, indeed. When you think Aura is losing, Kilowash is on the other side. Yep. He's making stuff happen, and a counter kill against High, that is pure gold. Yep, Van Strong. We can see how he's much better now, uh, or as always, when playing at range. He is a safer player because, as you can see, I mean, based on even game number one's draft, uh, the or sorry, game number two with the Chang. Uh, um, he's just better from afar. And he does not like to dive in, you know? We've never seen diversions that are aggressive. They're all mostly for disengaging. Yeah, And yeah. I'm not sure if that's what Aura ID needs right now. Look at this. Who do send over? Godiva. King's calling right King's now. King's calling. Let's see. Again, they were able to control Hades because of the King's calling. But what about now when it is on cooldown? They're trying to go for the fight still. Uh-huh. There you go. Tempest of Blades trying to pin down Benny Cutie. Purify on the way out. And... They are left once more to their device. Kiera, late to the party. Random, yep. A random dragon appears. Yep. Hello, anybody called for a dragon? No? Okay, yeah, I'm out. No, Kilowash, though, gonna bite the dust. Taken out here by Kabuki. So that's one Kilowash for one Lord. I'll take that any day. And So I think it's really it great that they picked up the Minsifar. You notice that the moment Hades got caught in King's Calling, it was almost impossible for him to make it out. Mm -hmm. He can quad shadow, can shadow kill properly. Mm -hmm. And that's a great, that's also a re reason why. But imagine the moment that Godiva picked, activated the, the King's Calling and there was no Hayabusa there. There was no way they could control him after that. Yeah. It's uh, essentially a matter of, of making sure that your skills are worth more than just a kill. You have to make sure that when you commit- The steal! <laughs> He got it? He got it! What? Flame shot straight to the purple. Oh, right! That's why, because JP and Hades have a purple each. Yeah. I was just saying, make your skills count, and this essentially... Yeah. They're doing and it. Yeah, They're the, doing it. The purple is the Ling's bread and butter. That is That's also... That's huge. That is, that is their lifeline. And now that High can't get it, he, he can't move around as fast, he can't commit skills as fast, and look down bottom, man. Benny Cutie. Threatening even Kiera, this Lord is gonna have his way with the turret, and that's going to be a push, a penetrate down bottom, even top. Let's see, that's two for one. Up top, down bottom. Let's see Kiera coming in. Down goes Kabuki. Traded out for Hades. Great height. Great and fight now, here for Indonesia. High again, slain. That's two for two. Let's see. Oh. Oh, they're keeping it strong. JP still alive. With Kiera's still alive. Oh, look at Kilowash. No look DPS. At Kilowash. Kilowash wants to end it. And they are going to get it, ladies and gentlemen. After a single recall, Aura, Philippines, flashing out with style, with swag, claiming this victory, proving that they are the superior Aura franchise, at least in the MPL Invitational.